Charge Force RTX 4090 and RTX 4090 team may require a 1200 watts power supply. The network has some interesting information about the upcoming RTX 40 series graphics cards from NVIDIA. Insider at Haruke's 5719 suggested in his post that a system with an Intel Core i91390K processor and an RTX 4090T graphics card will require a power supply of at least 1000 watts. However, another well-known insider Grayman55 objected to him that 1000 watts would not be enough. He also wrote frequently about the RTX 40 series, including a statement that the Lovelace series cards will offer twice the performance of the GeForce RTX 3090. Of course, to achieve this using 18,432 CUDA cores, it will require a lot of power, which, according to Grayman 55 calculations, will be 600 watts for a GeForce RTX 4090 or RTX 4090T. Moreover, this power will be typical only for the reference video card, and more advanced models can consume even more. If this is the case, then users will have to fork out for high-quality power supplies from leading manufacturers with a capacity of at least 1200 watts in order to have enough margin for peak GPU performance, while maintaining a stable power supply for other components. Consumption of 600 watts is not so incredible, considering for example, that the GeForce RTX 2080T has a TDP of 250 watts, the RTX 3080T and RTX 3090 to 300 watts, and the upcoming RTX 3090T as much as 450 watts. As for the performance of the GeForce RTX 40, Earlier leaks from late 2020 claimed that the AD102 GPU will have a performance of 66.4 teraflops in FP32 at 1.8 GHz, while the RTX 3090 offers only 35.6 teraflops. Thus, the performance is almost doubled, and the power consumption may also increase from 300W to 600W for the RTX 4090 or RTX 4090T.